Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm back with the Wing Wing Z84 uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do another auto tune because the last one uh, didn't save basically in a nutshell so I'm going to do this one correctly now 100% and I'll run you through it all how it's done and we might take it on a nice flight and see if we can get a bit of distance out of it today I might even do another servo water trim too because I felt like it was dipping down um, nose heavy at one stage last time I flew it. Welcome to OpenTX. So again I'm going to be running the ZOH pack, lithium ion 3500 milliamp pack, fully charged. Okay, so that's gathering some satellites at the moment. We'll just go and uh, show you what else I've got here at the moment. So I've bought the laptop. I'm going to be popping open iNav on that, and that's what's going to save the auto-tune. So what I did wrong last time was that I saved the auto-tune. I actually disarmed before you save the auto-tune. Apparently you don't disarm. So what I'll do will... That's just saying, that beep there is just saying it's found enough satellites to fly. So what we're going to do, we're going to auto launch it and um, fly it for about five minutes, three to five minutes again. Then we'll come in for a landing. Now without, what you have to do while you're happy, when you're happy with the way your craft is flying, before you land you have to disactivate the auto tune. So turn the switch off, that will store the data. So when you land it's not going to disrupt it. Um, don't disarm when you land, bring it back and you either can save it via your transmitter looking at your um, settings through your goggles, you can do it that way I'm just going to plug it into iNav and, um, and I'll save and reboot it through there, saves the, the, the new settings Alright, so what I want to do is I'm going to leave the goggles on the ground, I'm going to give it an auto launch, I'm going to throw it out that way and put it in loiter mode, put the goggles on, and then we'll activate the auto tune. I've got FPV going in here today, so we should have recording. Yes, we've got recording. So you'll see some telemetry as well. In position hold now.
All right, that's the uh, auto tune done. So with that, you don't disarm. So we'll bring it back to the to the car and save those settings. So just repeating, you don't disarm. It's still armed, so be careful with your prop on. Auto tune is deactivated. And now we'll just take it back and plug it in to the to iNav. All right, so we're hooked up here. Uh, I'm sorry if it's a bit hard to see on the laptop, but it's hooked up. It's still armed, so we'll connect. Okay, that's good. And you just save, basically. I'll get onto the PID tuning and see if there's a few little alterations that I've noticed. Looks like there's a couple, yeah. So we'll save that. And for the modes, I think I want to... I'll leave the servo auto tune running for a bit. But everything else seems pretty good. Everything's done. So that should be it. All saved now. Auto tune's done. Let's go for a, a bit of a flight. We'll do a bit of a test and see how far we can sort of take it and stretch its um, video transmitter a bit.